Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a big day on FIFA Ultimate Team. Massive day. Tons of content's gonna be coming out today. I wanna talk about it. What's gonna happen on the market, what content we're gonna see, and also talk about the SBC coming tomorrow, which could impact the market even more. Either the Kyle Walker, Paul Pogba, or N'Golo Kante SBC. But again, batch three is today. New season, new objectives, new SBCs and possibly some downturn on the market, some crashing prices. So I wanna talk about that. A lot of, honestly, ton of content that could come today. And I think there's some market movements that we can still make in the early hours of Friday morning before the promo comes today. That could set us ahead for uh, everything that is coming today on FIFA Ultimate Team, SBC wise and stuff like that. So first things first, we're getting a new season today. Literally the only thing we know about it we're going to go over here onto uh, Twitter and take a look at a lot of tweets today, look at a lot of stuff from the EA Summer Heat website and, of course, Footbin and the market. But this is some of the TIFOs, celebrations, and banners that were added today to the code. Obviously, they're going with, like, the summer theme. We've got pool slide, uh, zebra pattern, yeehaw. Cannot wait to see how cringe the yeehaw celebration is and the looking good uh, new celebration in foot. So that is probably coming today. Uh, and then, of course, we'll get some new season objective players and all sorts of stuff in here. I'll be really curious to see what they do with the level 15 and level 30 players because, obviously, these cards have been juiced up a decent amount. This was very some pretty cool cards back here at the back with Matuidi, Gabriel Jesus, and Draxler as level 30 rewards. So it'll be interesting to see what they do this time around for possibly this might be the last season. Of the summer or like the last season that they update i don't know if they're going to do objectives after season seven uh or in this next season of season eight and it honestly might take us up until the end of the year so i'm very curious to see what they do uh for the uh storyline players as a part of this new season and i hope they add some like cool packs as a part of this too right like give us some packs in here like those guaranteed team of the season packs like put those as a part of the objectives that'd be really cool if they did some of that or even like those 83 plus packs just just give us some some other grindable packs instead of just regular ones just give us something else in objectives that'd be kind of cool if they did go out and do that today um but other than that uh it's probably i would expect the new season to be a long time and we'll probably get some more objective players today as well because the uh a lot of stuff is expiring today bruno fernandez uh Ferland mendy zlatan if you haven't finished him and then Rusilian and coman are both expiring today probably have a new set i would expect since we're having a new season and it should be a longer while i wouldn't be surprised if we had another kind of like multi-tiered probably like a, a eight section objective kind of like mendy and bruno fernandez wouldn't be surprised if we had another one of those today of course it had to be a big name player uh maybe somebody like nelson Semedo would be a perfect player uh, to put it as a grindable objective. A lot of people would be interested in that, especially after Langley Le coming out and Dembele. That's just an idea, all right? Just not saying it's going to happen, just an idea if EA would go out and do that. But I would maybe expect one of those types of objectives today on foot. Into SBCs, we've got a ton of SBCs right now, which is just crazy, but we're probably going to get another Summer Heat card today um, and possibly another guaranteed TOTS. We've had the Bundesliga. We've had the... La Liga, and we've had the Premier League guaranteed team of the season packs so far. And there's another pack that has been added to the code that um, is probably going to come out in the very near future as well and guarantees a player from any team of the season so far. Now, before you start thinking too much, this pack seems to be cool, right? Guarantees you any TOTS player. There's a lot of the lower league team of the seasons, right? Of course, you have the top five. You have Prem. You know, you have the top five nations, but you you also have Latin America. You've got Eredivisie, Chinese League, Liga Nos, Super League, and even like EFL, right? So a lot of these packs are probably going to contain those types of players. So I'm hoping that EA also releases a, guarantees a player from the team of the season so far, top five leagues. They did that last year. I hope they do it again this year because the way this SBC and this pack words right now, if it's any TOS player, then this should be valued at like an 82 rated squad and or maybe an 83 rated squad and that's it. Honestly, that's all that this should be because other than that, you're just going to be packing guys from the league 
like Latin America League Tots and Eredivisie League Tots that you really don't want to get. You're not going to get a lot of main league team of the seasons from this pack, but that is a pack that a lot of people would get interested in, and it's probably going to be repeatable. Last year, we had a guaranteed Tots pack, team of the season player from the top five leagues. That did come out last year. I hope it comes out this year because that SBC was really cool. This is not that SBC, which I originally thought it was. This is a different one with any team of the season player available. So hopefully they give us um, an SBC that, that gives out uh, a lot of good team of the season players from the top five leagues. That's kind of what we would want. Um, again, best of re-releases. Today is going to be best of batch number three with team of the season cards coming back into packs as well. And we'll talk about that in just a second. The last thing I think we can expect today is tiered engagement reward packs. The last one from period two, June 17th to July 12th. I expect that pack to be released out today onto the market. And considering talking about packs and what is going back into packs, we are expecting team of the season cards to get re-released into packs today. I think since they did not re-release any of the secondary TOTS cards last week as a part of batch two, which is what they did in FIFA 19, I think what they're going to do today is they're going to go all out and release all of the team of the season cards in packs. Seriously, everything. We're talking main five leagues, of course, like you guys like Ben Yedder, who are, you know, still dropping in price a decent amount. And uh, guys like the Premier League, the Ligue 1, the La Liga, the Bundesliga, and of course the lower leagues as well. I think all team of the season so far cards are going to be put in packs today. And that is going to cause some crashing on the market because yes, these cards have already come down a little bit, but upon the initial announcement of these guys going back into packs, people that haven't sold their cards already are going to sell. And also they're going to get packed in the first couple hours of the day today because there is one massive thing that we have to be aware of that is happening today on foot regarding packs, right? People have been saving packs for like the past week, if not more, as some of these cards um they're saving packs because they know hey i would rather try to pack a team of the season card than a foot birthday uh because you know there's there's a decent amount of foot birthdays that are expensive but you could get your hands on a team of the season card that would be a lot more valuable and you know probably have better stats at this stage of the game because these cards were just out two months ago month and a half ago, two months ago, as a promotion. So a lot of people have saved packs today, whether they are untradeable or whether they are tradable. And there's a lot of tradable packs saved up, which is going to supply these cards on the market. So what I think you're going to see today with all the content that comes out, if we get a big time SBC player, you're going to see panic selling possibly because people wanted to go out and do that card. And also, if there's like a TOTS upgrade SBC that is repeatable, there will be some panic for that because people will sell cards to go hit that SBC there will be people that have panic sell team of the season cards because they're going back into packs. There will be panic selling across the entire market tomorrow if the content is good. And if batch three consists of all team of the season cards and maybe some other special cards like some informs, man of the matches and stuff. Um, it'll all be a lot of panic selling if we see all of that. And um, of course, with all the saved up packs, a lot of those get opened in the first um, hour to hour and a half of the promo starting. Again, I mentioned this earlier in the week this week with the foot birthday week one and team of the season Premier League promotions. What happened was there were so many saved up packs that were opened within the first hour of those cards being put into packs. That's when a lot of those cards hit their lowest. And I do expect a rebound today on a lot of really meta card prices on the market. I do expect a rebound, right? This is a guy that I would expect a rebound on. Uh, you know, 1000%. This guy's already up in price. Do I think he drops tomorrow? For sure, man. He was 550K all this week. He's up to 570 right now. It's a bit of an undercut right there. I think he's like 590. So he's up like 30, 40,000 coins, right? 30,000 coins, the St. Maximin is up um, on the market. I do think this guy drops tomorrow. With There's going to be panic selling and then there's going to be a rebound because people open up all their packs. They do the SBC. Maybe they hit the TOTS pack. They look at the new objective card and then bang, they have to go buy cards for their weekend league because especially there's more incentive for people to be on the game this week. And I think EA knows that as well. The weekend league rewards aren't changing, but there's more incentive for people to be on the game this week because team of the seasons are in packs. Feels like the past couple days, the content's not been insane. It's been good, 
just not insane, right? And I think with the voting that we saw today with the Pogba, with the Conte and the Walker, that's going to kind of turn things maybe back to the insane level that we had earlier on during the first week or two of the Summer Heat promo with the type of cards that they're going to be putting out in the game this week. So again, what I expect on the market today is if you still have team of the season cards, I know we, we looked at a lot of graphs from last year, right? We looked at all of these graphs. We looked at like Neymar team of the season last year. He went from 10 million coins to uh, down to 3.8 million in the span of a week. This is what I'm saying, right? If you have team of the season cards that you are done with and you have them tradable in your club, I would consider selling them even before today's content drop. I would consider selling them taking the cash just to be careful. And if you want to buy them back and use them in your weekend league, buy them at a, like an hour or an hour and a half, maybe two hours after the content drops today, because there's going to be a lot of panic selling. And if it's a rare meta card, especially if it's an icon, maybe even some of those foot birthdays that could be out of packs, they could still be in packs. If EA does like the best special version of every card in the game, that St. Maximin might still be in packs. That's just something we'll have to see at 6 p.m. UK today when the content uh, does drop. But um, I do expect there to be a rebound. And I think I would cash out before. Even though prices are down, I would cash out before because Neymar right now is 4.1 million coins. He was 3.9 earlier this week in the panic sell. There's going to be more undercutting tomorrow. He might rebound a little bit into the weekend, but then the sell-off with especially the SBC that is coming on Saturday, which is what I want to talk about next. The sell-off that is going to come this weekend is going to be crazy as well because everything that rebounds from Friday into Saturday is going to come crashing down once again on Saturday because of the big-time SBC that we could see on Saturday. And that is between these three lads right here. Paul Pugba, Kyle Walker, and N'Golo Kante. Now, of course, there's positives and negatives to all of these cards coming out, right? Kante is a team of the year. This Summer Heat Kante will probably not eclipse that team of the year in rating. Pogba already has a foot birthday that is five star, five star. I don't know if they would give Pogba a five star uh, weak foot boost on this new Summer Heat card if he does win, right? Kyle Walker, we already have Juan Masaka and Trent as English right backs in the Prem. I think that either Pogba or Kante is going to end up winning. I'm thinking that Pogba is going to be the one who wins this. And if he is, there's going to be a lot of people on this market that sell anything and everything to go do this card. Just for a heads up and a reminder to last year, when the Pogba 96 rated footies card came out last year as an SBC, it was the, the there was a huge crash on that day for that SBC alone. The amount of hype that this Paul Pogba has is incredible. That's why I think he might end up winning the vote today. And if his SBC is anywhere around a million coins or under, a lot of people are going to end up doing it. And I think you're going to see a lot of the market move around. And that is going to transition to me talking about SBC fodder because it is down from rewards. A lot of these cards have dropped. I don't like to trade and invest with a lot of this stuff right now. But this is like, honestly, one of the safest ways to do stuff and to invest right now on this game because a lot of the cards that are usable, meta, weekend league, are going to be dropping, panic selling, right? And they're going to be panic sell because of new SBCs coming out. And this, this promo is basically built around SBCs, right? Take a look at some of these 82 to 84 rated cards and how much they have dropped over the past two days. Suso, right? Look at this. And Spanish right wing, if there's any SBCs that require right wings, look what this guy has been. He's been 4K plus the past couple weeks, right? Here's another one. Jesus Navas. I know there's been, okay, that's the wrong one. 82 rated Navas. There's been some uh, SBCs that have required Spanish links and have required La Liga players because of like Langley and Dembele. 9,000 coins for Jesus Navas. Just earlier, two days ago, this guy was 9K. Two days ago, this not, this guy was 9,000 coins. 6K before rewards. Dropped all the way down to 2,000 coins where he's at right now. This is your sleeper this week, boys, right? Uh, no, that's the wrong one too. Pedro. This could be the Jesus Navas of last week going to 9,000 coins, right? He's already been 5,000 coins multiple times in the past couple weeks. He's bouncing between like four to five, 6,000 coins. This guy's 3K, right? This guy's 3K. I'm big on Pedro. I'm big on Premier League because it looks like we're getting a Premier League SBC. Well, guaranteed getting a Premier League card on Saturday. I'm a big fan 
of the Premier League SBC fodder and all SBC fodder in general, 82 to 84, 85 rated, and also 87, 88, and 89 rated cards as well because of the Pogba or Conte that's going to come on Saturday. I think a lot of this stuff is getting low enough where you can buy it. The only risk, and let me classify, this is the only risk with buying these cards right now instead of later, right? If you do look at these cards and you think about all the saved packs that are coming today, if we don't get quality hype SBC content today on Friday, if we don't get a big time SBC, nothing repeatable, not a big player, you're going to see some of these cards actually drop a little bit more in price from all the pack supply in the first couple of hours. If that does happen, it is what it is. You go buy more SBC fodder because on Saturday and throughout the rest of this next week of summer heat, there will be some point where all this fodder continues to rise up because SBCs are going to continue to come. There's going to be more hype. So I am a huge fan of a club stock right now. Honestly, just go nuts. Club stock, uh, some of these special cards that are the cheapest buy rating right now, if they have good links, that's an absolute buy because they're going out of packs. At least they should be. Some of them are. Uh, and then a lot of the other gold cards, right? Some of these gold cards have team of the seasons. Who was I looking at earlier? Paulinho. I mentioned this on stream just a few minutes ago. This guy, if team of the seasons come back into packs, which is what we're expecting, this guy was 10,000 coins, right? What's his price rate? Price max? 12K. He's 7,000 coins right now. If you can find this guy in the 7K range, I'm all about it. This guy's going to be out of packs, Brazilian, center mid, very linkable for SBCs. People are paying mad money for these cards, right? Who was another one? Gundawan. Now, Gundawan doesn't have a team of the season card, but he could have this inform card that could go into packs for whatever reason if EA decided to put it in packs, right? Uh, actually, it was already in packs. That's why he's he was 15K last week. Anyways, uh, he was 13K on the Xbox on Thursday. 10, 11,000 coins. He's 7K at the moment. 7K, right? Jao Moutinho as well is another one. I like the Premier League stuff. Again, for all the SBCs that could come out that are Premier League related, this guy was over those 10,000 coins again just two days ago. Now he's back to 7K. This stuff could get very expensive. I know it's already crazy to think to pay 7,000 coins for an 84, but honestly, just buy one, chuck it in the club. It's a good investment for me. Honestly, it is a good investment because this promo is just so solely focused on SBC fodder. Rodri, 12,000 coins on the Xbox, and he was 19K early this week, 15K on the PlayStation, now he's 11. That's a buy, right? That is a buy. That is a buy, all right? Uh, I like a lot of these 82s, though. If you're on a lower budget, 82s, Politano, yo, this guy had to have been expensive earlier this week. Uh, 4,000 coins, yup, that's pretty expensive. What about the gold card? Probably in the same spot, right? So, just look at a lot of the SBC fodder. What I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to do a club stock because I think a lot of this stuff has just gotten cheap and I'm a fan of it, right? I would rather do it uh, earlier rather than later. And especially if it's something that is going out of packs that is a usual SBC fodder card, right? Uh, just look through here for maybe some cards that have tots, you know, that might jump off the face of the page to you. Um, Falcal, no. Milik, no. Taliska, does, does Taliska have a tots card? No, he does not. He does not have a team of the season, but he is Brazilian. So he links for SBCs. Trap, no. Sarabia, no. Kevin Campbell, no. Uh, again, we mentioned Paulinho. Pizzi, this is one that I know a lot of people have already invested in. One of the cheapest 84s. He is a right mid though. Last week when he went out of packs, he was maxed out at 12K. Right now he's 7,000 coins. He's got a TOTS card that's going to be in packs. So we'll probably be back inflated. Just look out for some of this stuff, right? Julian Brandt, he's got a TOTS card, most consistent TOTS. He could go out of packs, German links, right? 10,000 coins earlier, 10,000 coins yesterday, 8,000 coins today. Just watch the market for SBC fodder today. It could be an investment. I would recommend just stocking your clubs up, which is something that I'm going to do uh, right now, honestly. Even as I start on this, ending this video out, right? I'm just going to go snag me a John Moutinho for 7,000 coins. It seems, oh, undercut, let's go. It seems crazy again to buy 84s at that price and be okay with it, right? I'm usually not a fan of that, but the state at the way this game is right now, everybody's all about SBCs. And the only really way I see this going down even further is just EA not releasing content, which I don't think uh, they're gonna do. So I'm gonna do a club stock, go through a round, do this, put them in the club and be done and dusted for that sort of stuff. 
uh, right there. Let me give me Jesus Navas because I already used one in an SBC just a little bit ago. Looks like this guy's back up a little bit. Uh, yep, I talked about him on stream, so I'm not saying that's why, but it could be. Still, this guy was like 9K last week, so I'll take one, chuck it in the club. And uh, if we get big SBCs this weekend, you know, you could easily cash out within a, a very short time span, and it could be a W for you. But again, big time stuff happening today on FIFA. New season, new objectives probably, new SBCs, a lot of potential hype on this game today last call for your objectives as well with the new season resetting they're going to go away in like 12 hours so look at that and again a lot of saved up packs today so i see the market going like this and then rebounding on the super meta stuff into the nighttime so if you have any questions drop them down below but that is the video for today batch three summer heat the last two weeks of this incredible best promo of all time in fifa ultimate team i'm going to say it yes that we have ever had. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate the Food Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.